Kelsey and Mama, Mama Ward. Ward. What's so up? So today we'll be doing a slime video. Okay, let me get the stuff. Psych! We doing a back to school video. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my face though? Because it was like, that's not what we said we were doing. <laughs> we doing a back to school video. So, today is our third day of school. First day of school was August 9th. On a Friday. Like, we had to go back on a Friday. Well, so, I had to go back Thursday. She went back Friday. So, I'm going to be showing y'all a few things that I had did from the past three days. This is just one from last year. One of my social studies things from last year. But I'm just working on it just to have some type of homework because I don't got homework yet. But eventually I'm going to get some homework from math and social studies, math and science. Parents, the first day of school paperwork. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I only have two kids that are in school. But it takes so long. She did mine on Friday, and my brother gave it to her last minute on a Sunday. And what happened? And you told him, and you go have to find a way to get it signed. Get, get it on my face. <laughs> and wait, then, wait a minute. And then, and then he brought it she back signed Monday. it on Monday. So, I'm going to show y'all my school's journal, my composition notebook. My number is number 23. Finally, I'm not last in the line. Do you know who number that is? <laughs> number 23 world who is number 23 she loved the shoes but don't know his Jordan, number Michael yeah. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you not know so this is my notebook I put my name on here my school and my grade <laughs> what did y'all what did y'all use in this journal for we're using this journal for our um our morning journal writing in my teacher Miss Roberts class for ELA and social studies, but social studies is first, but we'll, this is basically ELA. So what is fifth grade social studies about? What have you done within these first two So days? what what I learned our social studies is about the first part of it is it's gonna be about the earth. You're going to be learning about the earth. Because in our social studies weekly pack, packet like this, you're going to, it's going to be, it's going to be about, it's going to be about earth. I only, we only read the first page. Yeah, it's so, about maps and Yeah, and it's going to be about geography, bi uh, biography, and maps and stuff. Okay. Me and my, me and my group didn't read the whole thing, but. And. You're really good with maps because we look at maps all the time. Mm -hmm. How many continents is it? Seven. Yeah, can you name them? Okay. Okay. North America, mm -hmm. South America, Asia, mm -hmm. Africa. Europe, mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. and Antarctica. Yeah! <laughs> go! Go, girl! Oh, we got to do our five that I used to do with my uh, one of my favorite students. We, you remember? We used to miss it. Yes! <laughs> That's going to be my thing. I used to do that last year with the kids, too. That was like my head shake. Like, hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> da -da -da -da. So, for name, I put my name, of course. I'll see. And then, Lord. and then school, I put my school in the grade, fifth grade. And my number is 23. And then, right here, I'll say name, the school, and teacher. So, Y'all, uh, you want me to read them what I wrote? Sure. Here, Joe. My first 
first day of school was awesome. I have two nice teachers. My mom also works at my school in the hall. My teacher, Miss Roberts, was my brother's teacher. My first day of school was fun. Good information. Good Cause job. I didn't want to be overboard, like do a whole page of nothing. Well, uh, you had library today. Yes, I had a lot library today. I almost said library. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get from the library? And this is my book. Scary stories, more tales to chill your bones. Ooh, that was a chapter. Like maybe we should do a read and see how long we read. I think you're supposed to do 30 minutes a day at home. No. no. stories. Mm -hmm. Scary stories three. More tales to chill your bones. I want to read one. Let me see. Okay. Let's do Boomin. The girl was late. Let me read it. Getting home. How about I do one and you do one? You'll do the first paragraph and I'll do the second. Fine. The girl was late getting home for supper. So she took a shortcut through the cemetery. But oh, it made her nervous. When she saw another girl ahead of her, she hurried to catch up. Do you mind if I walk with you? She asked. Walking through the cemetery at night scares me. I know what you mean, the other girl said. I used to feel that way myself when I was alive. There are all sorts of things that scare us. The dead scare us. For one day, we will be dead like they are. The dark scares us, for we don't know what is waiting in the dark. At night, the sounds of leaves rustling or branches groaning or someone whispering makes us uneasy. So, do footsteps coming closer. So do strange figures we think we see in the shadows. A human, maybe, or a big animal. Or some horrible thing we can barely make out. People call these creatures we think we see boo men. We imagine them, they say, but now and then a boo man turns out to be real. Queer happenings scare us too. We hear of a boy or a girl who was raised by an animal, a human being like us who yips and howls and run on all fours. The thought of it makes our flesh crawl. We hear of insects that make their nests in a person's body or of a nightmare that comes true and we shudder. If such things really do happen, then they could happen to us. such fears that scare
scary stories grow. This is the third book of such stories I could collect. I learned some of these from people I met. I found other tales that have been written down in folklore, archives, and in libraries. As we always do these tales we learn, I have told them in my own way. Some stories in this book have been told only in recent times, but others have been part of our folklore from for as long as we know. As one person told another, the details may have changed. But the story itself has not. For what once forgotten, people still forgotten them. I right. thought it I thought at first that one of the stories I found was a modern story. It is the one I call the bus stop. I then discovered that a similar story had been told 2,000 years earlier in ancient Rome. But the young woman involved was named Philiania, not Joanna, and she is in our story. And the stories in this book, are the stories in this book true? The one I call the trouble is true? I can't be sure about the others. Most may have at least a little truth, for strange things sometimes happen, and people love to tell about them and turn them into even better stories. Nowadays, most people say they don't believe in ghosts and queer happenings and such, yet they still fear the dead and the dark. And they still see boo men waiting in the shadows. And they still tell scary stories. Just as people always have. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Part one. And that is for Scary Stories 3. More tales to chill your bones. So y'all might be hearing different parts of this story in all the video oh in most of the videos while we have this book. And then when I return it, and we'll get another book and we'll share it with you guys. Okay. Joe says, I hit the word ma, 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 I hit the word ma. I hit the, 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 the warm up. I hit the warm up. I hit the warm up. I hit the warm up.